Hello everyone, it's uh, Rad. Uh, welcome to my channel Radku Tarot and uh, this is going to be a disclaimer that needs to stand in front of every video I do. So if you this is the first time you are here, welcome. If not, and should you wish to proceed, well, you can fast forward into the reading that it is ahead of this disclaimer. But as a disclaimer, I need to advise you that this is a, a general reading. Um, of the representative star sign and for that reason because tarot is very personal divination tool and does require narrative which in personal readings appear to be your question or the situation that you are describing uh, the read the general reading may or may not resonate entirely with uh, with your situation and if it resonates that great if it doesn't i do apologize for that but sh i'm yeah, and I wish you the best, you know, with some, with the situation that you're trying to cope with. But um, if you wish to proceed with the um, personal readings or uh, you wish to follow me on Facebook or on YouTube, you know, all, all of that or visit my website, all of that is going to be written in the description the box down below. And uh, thank you for watching in advance and uh, now lay back and uh, enjoy the video. All right, so this is going to be a Leo Sun, Leo Moon, and as well uh, Leo Rising. A weekly tarot reading October 21st to October 27th, 2019. And uh, bear with me just a second, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards. And uh, we are going to jump right into it. All right, so the first card, which stands for the topic of your week, Leo, that is going to be the Three of Wands, followed by the next one, which stands for the challenges that you need to overcome throughout the week, that is going to be the Seven of Pentacles. Afterwards, we do have the positive aspect of the week here, uh, that it is marked with the Sun card. And then the last one, which represents the guidance that uh, Taro is offering to you, that is going to be the uh, Five of Pentacles. All right, so pretty interesting uh, week. It is what you are going to have in front of you. Um, the Three of Wands, which stands for the topic, is going to be uh, catalyzed here by the Queen of Pentacles. So we do have an active uh, neutrals in this particular case. And it's a little bit of a, uh, how do you say it? A win-win situation, maybe? Yeah, it's, it's something like that. Because while you do have what to grow into your current business, under business I mean either career or relationship, additionally to that, you can definitely explore a new shores for you to conquer. Now, these two cards are pointing that uh, once again, there is still potential, you know, into the current endeavors, into your relationship or into the current projects. But right now, it is time for you to step on those endeavors and on those projects and to think about how you are to proceed from there. You know, what you are going, how you're going to utilize them or capitalize on them, if you will, not only in material aspect, guys, or not only in just, you know, having a... Um, how do I say it, maybe boring and completely predictable relationship, but how you are to improve those states of yours, your career and your relationship as well, so they can match your expectations. This is what we are talking about here, arranging your current foundations, if you will, the patterns that you are stepping on. So as you proceed forward with its unfoldment, of your career or of your relationship at the end or your relationship life that is because you can be single as well you can at the end of the day find yourself in a spot where <clears throat> what it is uh, what it is there for you completely matches with once again your expectations so the week itself is going to be rather quite positive in a sense of that um, it is very unlikely that you're going to be cut caught uh, by surprise by something that it is kind of poignant if there is going to be surprise definitely is going to be rather a pleasant one and uh, it doesn't look like that you're going to have anything against it even though you may store that surprise as a 
a certain plan B, for example, or a plan C in case, you know, you face difficulty into the current tasks that you are uh, <clears throat> that you are kind of performing uh, performing into. But once again, it's important here to um, try to expand. It's all about expanding and sprawling of uh, of your life that you are to find a way to do throughout the week, October 21st to October 27th. So the next card, it regards to the challenges and we do have the Seven of Pentacles, uh, which is accompanied by the Three of Pentacles. So this is a, a passive supporter and the challenge itself, it is your assumption. Is it really worth it? So uh, in this particular uh, position here with these two cards, especially as a challenge, it does display a, a person or in this case, you, in this case, excuse me, you, that it is trying to wait it out as much as possible so you can make, you know, kind of like a, a decision without risking anything, if you will, or trying to um, validate, you know, this new exploration state and conquering state with those which are around you. Now you need to know here, however, that there is always a risk into a newness into one's life, okay? You can't achieve a thing without sacrificing something or you can't get anything without paying the price for it. But in this case, it doesn't look like as well that uh, people which are around you, you know, either your coworkers or your friends are gonna be quite on the same page with you. I mean, they're not going to be against you in any way, but it doesn't look like that they will be able to help you in any way or to give you those, um, that guidance or that advice that you really need in order to uh, boost your confidence and to say, yeah, okay, I'm going to do it, you know, or kind of like, well, I'm going to think about it. It's not even think about it, but it is more like doing it. So uh, that being said, it doesn't look like that this week, you know, you can count on anybody to present you with the right option in front of you or with the right decision. But all comes to that, uh, how willing you are to, it's not jeopardizing, but it's more like open yourself for this sprawling and for the improvement, um, even though the others are to be either incapable, ignorant or unqualified to tell you and to cooperate with you into in toward that direction. The positive card here is going to be the sun and it is accompanied by the queen of uh, cups. Now, this is a, another testament that you should stop waiting, right? Now, this throughout this week, all of your situations, I would say, with these two cards are to start growing. They, they will be, there will be that field in front of you on exponential, exponential growth. And this is exactly the field that you need to step onto, all right? This is exactly the field that you need to start sprawling and expanding into. For the reason being, it is that through this opening, your uh, situations career-wise or relationship-wise, they're going to start unfolding themselves uh, themselves quite naturally, which means that you are going to be rather happy into them with those improvements, I mean, with those expansion, with that expansion. Uh, with, um, with your career as well, these cards could speak for monetary success, but only if you go for an, an expansion. Otherwise, you sit into where you are, nobody touches you, that's great, right? But don't expect to make a severe progress. So in other words, uh, it is always comes to that, you know, how much you're willing to challenge yourself at the end of the day, you know, to sprawl your relationship or your career. And <clears throat> with these two cards at, the, uh, at the, the third position, guys, it doesn't look like that there are gonna be more natural opportunities for you to do so um, in the next, few weeks, who knows, few months, probably few years. But now is the time for you to exert your actions toward the opportunity of growing. And the last one is going to be the Five of Pentacles here, and it is accompanied by the Queen, by the Empress card. And that speaks about the, um, the sense of risk that I talked about in the, in the first, in, in the uh, second position, that you may think that isn't really worth it to, you know, to 
losing or kind of like weaken your positions, your current positions, so you can take another campaign, all right? But uh, these cards are advising you to not not to rush it in any way, all right? But if you can't make up quite your mind, you need to take a withdrawal or a retreat, if you will. Retreat is the more um, is the more accurate term, should I say, because you have to completely detach yourself from the situation, uh, from the situation itself. That is for a reason being is because there are way too many other uh, things which are occupying your mind that are peripheral to your expansion, but yet it does uh, require your attention. And you need to kind of like withdraw from all that so you can kind of accurately scale the pros and the cons. And ultimately, at the end, should you follow this strategy, you are going to make the most balanced and mature decision in regards to it. But what is important here with the last couple of cards, Leo, to know it is that whatever you sow, guys, you are to reap at the end, either bitter or sweet. So do not hesitate should you be baffled with what you need to do to once again take your retreat, take your withdrawal for a couple of days, for the rest of the week, for example, because at the end of the day, a decision needs to be made. Do you want to expand or do you want to sit in the same place? It depends on you where you're going to go for or what you're going to go for. So that being said, Leo, this was your weekly tarot reading for October 21st to October 27th, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys, and we're going to see each other next time. Until then, bye.